I know I cover up my fault lines with silly putty Like the laugh's gonna make the bad turn to nothing But that's rubber, I'm blue All I say is stick to you Trying to get close to the truth Man, I ain't 22 no more Gotta shoot for the moon If I fall on the floor I always get that Polo jacket. Oh. I got a little blazer. I'm very happy with my purchase. Are you? I'm very happy too. I got this jacket for a 30,000 won. It was a 35,000 won, but then we haggled. we like, give us 5,000 won off. <laughs> we were only here for like 15 minutes and we found something already. <laughs> now we're on the search for sunglasses for Jem. She really wants like vintage sunglasses, so... We gave up on the sunglasses and we got in the cab and we're going to uh, LP store? Mm -hmm. Is it a cafe? Or just it's a cafe as well. Oh, they sell coffee, some cookies. So got Getting my first ever full body checkup today. Yeah, I'm gonna be put to sleep, which is a little scary. It's finally my turn. Everything will be okay. See you guys after I wake up. It's been an hour and a half and it's over. I feel great. When I get home, I'll talk more about the details of the exams that I went through. 
but it's time to eat some porridge because I've been starving since like 8 p.m. last night and I'm really hungry but they said we can only eat porridge so I guess that's what we'll eat for lunch never gotten a health checkup before so I really wanted to get it done there's nothing like wrong with my body in particular but I always wanted to get the endoscopy done because I have trouble digesting my stomach hurts very often they did find some bacteria in the stomach but I just have to take medicine for like a week and I should be okay and it's also very common so nothing to worry about the rest of the results come out in a week uh, so I'm just gonna have to wait for them to email me all of the results from my blood test, urine test, and all of the tests I got done, uh, checking my bone density, pep smear. I don't know how many different examinations I actually went through, but everything ended in like an hour and a half. Actually, it ended in like an hour and 45 minutes because I had to get an additional cavity treatment. I always get cavities for some reason. I swear I floss every single day and brush my teeth. I think it has more to do with like my jeans or something. When they were putting me to sleep, it felt so weird. First I tasted something kind of sweet but strange in my mouth and I felt like a tingling sensation going up to my brain and before you know it, I woke up in another room and I was like, where am I? Oh yeah, I just got that done. And then I woke up, but the nurse was like, whoa, you woke up too soon. You should rest a little more because you're going to be dizzy. Uh, but I couldn't fall back asleep. So I just kind of lay there for like two more minutes and I just got up and left. I just took the medicine that they prescribed me and I feel kind of queasy. Hopefully all the test results will be okay. And yeah. It was super quick and it was cool because they each gave us like a bracelet and every time we go to another station for another examination, we just kind of uh, put our bracelet to the electronic thing. I don't know these terms. And then it tells you like which room to go to and you kind of wait outside for a bit and then they call you in. And everything's super efficient, super speedy. Uh, so that was good and they also give you free porridge at the end and the porridge was really good I don't know if it's because I was um, I starved for a long time, but I killed it I wanted to ask for seconds honestly, but that is my update from the health checkup And I will let you guys know what the results are after a week when I get the email Okay, my roots have grown out so much. I need to go in for a root touch up soon. Girl. But, anyways, I wanted to update you guys on my tattoo because I realized I totally forgot about it. Um, so, after I got the rib cage tattoo for the first week, it was very itchy. And I think it's probably because it was healing. So every time I put the ointment on, I had to like kind of slap the area <laughs> to prevent myself from actually scratching it. Um, and then the second week, it was fine. I think it healed completely the second week. And I didn't have to put ointment on anymore. And now it's completely healed and it looks great. I also got my results back from the health checkup. 
thankfully there's nothing like serious that came back from the results i do have to go back after like a month and a year for additional checkups uh, but i like wrote it down because <laughs> it's very difficult to remember all of it you just said i have a little bit of anemia i had to do additional research to find out what the results meant because you know they're all like medical terms and i'm not really familiar with them why do i have anemia Hmm. I'm glad that I finally got the test results back because I was honestly <clears throat> kind of anxious from like imagining the worst case scenario but yeah it's okay now I'm okay I'm, I'm relieved now so that's about all the update I have <laughs> got this tray on the side of the road while I was walking by so random but there were like a few of these on the floor if you want to buy like a checkered tray you have to you know pay a good amount for it but I was like it's free on the side of the road um, it says made in Spain here mm. so I brought one home cleaned it and now it's sitting next to my bed I haven't really figured out what to put on top of it but for now I have my aroma oil on it with my Palo Santo that I don't know when I will burn. Yeah, I got super lucky with this find. All my plants are doing really well with the exception of this olive tree that is dying. I don't, I'm trying so hard to revive it, but I don't know if it's possible. Even when it first arrived, it was kind of like not in the best shape because it was delivered on a really, really freezing day. So maybe I think that's what had to do with it. Like right after it came, the leaves started falling off. And for the next three months, like the leaves just kept falling off. And now there's like, there are only like seven leaves on it. And I don't know what to do. It's a really cute tree, so I want to save it, but I don't know how. Help. Anybody help, please? I watered all my plants and now I'm gonna drink some coffee. So there's this new brand called 7th Rebel. I think they're based in California and they sent me their newest launched products i already opened it but i was like oh my gosh it's so cute so i wanted to unbox it for you guys just so you guys can see too we open it and there's an adorable menu written on it i love the red gingham and then we have this cute little bag as well as these stickers there's a little cherry here that's a nice little touch and then inside we have ooh peach milk this is just a box i guess for decor and then we have a little scrunchie how adorable and then we have pimple patches cherry bonbons love all the colors i thought you guys might like it too thank you seventh rebel for sending me these products and congrats on your launch I'm stepping out for coffee slash brunch with my friend Jane. I don't think I will be vlogging, but just wanted to share some OOTD details. So I felt like dressing really girly today. Dainty and yours, take me home. And then this dress is from Jing uh, that I got like a year ago. It's actually a romper. Anyways, it's been raining two days in a row. Shucks, but um, when I get home tonight, I have an LP to unbox as well, so I will do that. And also, I need to pack because tomorrow I am leaving to Bokpo, which is in the southern area of Korea. It's my friend Chisu's birthday today, 
um, and so I wanted to go and celebrate her birthday with her and also I just kind of wanted to get away from the city go somewhere where everything was just like empty and open so I'm gonna be taking a break over the weekend I've never been to Bokpo before um, so I'm kind of excited and I'll see you guys later when I get home from radio It is this breakfast at Tiffany's LP. Oh my god. I had to get it shipped internationally and I waited about two weeks. Oh my gosh. Look at this pretty pink color. Oh, oh my god. Amazing. It's like the perfect shade of baby pink. I love it. 